Hi class, so here's our lecture on mitosis. Um, quick reminder that this is the second part of the cell cycle. So we're assuming here we would have already done interphase, all of interphase, which includes copying the DNA. We've already done that stuff. And then remember the goal here is going to be from the start to the end of mitosis, the goal is going to be to separate our sets of DNA. Right, so we, we mentioned those in the previous lecture on the cell cycle. All right, so mitosis here is going to be uh, five stages. So if you've had some high school biology and that kind of stuff, you've seen these before. So um, I'm going to leave a little room between because I'm going to add a couple things about what's going on. But uh, the five stages of mitosis are going to be prophase. Prometaphase. And prometaphase is actually a relatively new stage. Um, like back in the old days when I was learning mitosis, we didn't have prometaphase, it was just prophase. And uh, a lot of times prophase and prometaphase are still just kind of wrote into one stage called prophase. Metaphase. anaphase and the last is called telophase all right so those are our five stages prophase prometaphase metaphase anaphase telophase all right so we're going to go back and add a few things about what's going on with these stages you know so first thing is just you know, try to get used to the order of these things um, and, and the, the, the order that they're, they're going to fall in, that they're happening in with mitosis. All right, so um, the first couple things here with prophase and prometaphase, they're going to be prep stages, right? So remember in our cell, if this is a eukaryotic cell, like an animal cell, here's our nucleus again. This is where our DNA is. Uh, that nucleus is surrounded by a membrane, right? So there's, there's a membrane that goes around this nucleus. And if our DNA is inside that membrane, we need to get to it. Like we have to be able to get to the actual DNA. So some of the things that are happening in the beginning are getting access to the chromosomes and then building some stuff we're going to need eventually to do the separating. All right, so that membrane I just showed you is going to break down. All right, that's going to give us access to our chromosomes. Nuclear membrane breaks down. Okay, and then um, we're going to start to build something that we're going to use to do our separating. It's called the spindle. Okay, so this spindle is a really important tool. It's a really important structure for doing mitosis. And we're going to start to build that in prophase. Okay, for prometaphase, um, first things first, we got to finish building the spindle. spindle. All right, so we start that in prophase, finish it in prometaphase. And then our chromosomes are going to attach to the spindle. The spindle is going to be the machinery we use to separate chromosomes. So, you know, the spindle must connect to the chromosomes or the chromosomes must connect to the spindle. All right, so we've kind of gained access to our DNA, to our chromosomes. We've built the structure we need to do the work, the spindle, and we've attached the chromosomes. So all that's kind of prep. And then we got one more prep thing to do in metaphase. The chromosomes 
and metaphase are going to line up. So this is going to be a way of making it easier to separate and know what we're doing to kind of keep things organized. Right, so they're going to line up like this. And I'm going to remind you here as I draw these chromosomes lined up in our cell, right, single file. They're going to line up single file. So it doesn't matter how many you draw for however many there are, but um, they line up single file. And these chromosomes I'm drawing have sister chromatids because we've already gone through interphase and we've copied the DNA. All right, so lining up in the center of the cell. Hey, and I want to show you something real quick because, you know, it's like I can draw this in a straight line up and down, but, you know, sometimes you see this and it looks a little different because, like, the chromosomes may line up like I just showed you vertically like this, but if the cells turn, maybe they line up like this or maybe they line up this way or this way or this way. So you get the idea. There's like lots of different planes that these chromosomes can line up on, and it doesn't matter. Right? All that matters is that they're in a single file line. Nothing, note that nothing with my chromosome lining up picture, nothing is side by side. We can't have them side by side. Okay, so then all of that is our prep for anaphase, which is going to do the work. So anaphase separates sister chromatids. All right, for however many chromosomes we have in the cell, anaphase is going to do this. It's going to pull these sister chromatids to opposite sides, and it's going to separate them like this times however many chromosomes we have in the cell. All right, so that's how we're going to separate chromosomes. That's how we're separating DNA. All right, I know earlier we said for mitosis, we're separating the DNA, we're separating the chromosomes, but this is how we're doing it, by separating these sister chromatids, one to each side of the cell. Okay, and then the telophase step, since we've done our goal, right, this is our goal, separate the chromosomes. So the telophase step is kind of reversing everything we've done up to this point. So we get, it, it undoes all of our prep, right? So the spindle breaks down, right? We don't, we, we've already separated our chromosomes. We don't need a spindle anymore. Okay, the nuclear membrane reforms and that's actually going to be for a short time there's going to be two of those in the cell because we're going to have two batches of chromosomes so all that stuff we did for prep we're reversing in telophase it's kind of the let's turn everything back to normal let's make everything the way it was before we did all these this prep work all right, so that's that's mitosis. That's what's going on with mitosis in those five steps. Hey, okay, I'm going to do um, a separate video here where we're going to make um, a series of pictures on uh, what these will look like, what cells in these stages will look like.